Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.wordpress.com here, back again with another Sunday scoring project, and this time it's a card which I saw made by goanna5.blogspot.com, um, .au, and this is what she calls a springy thingy card, and I hadn't seen it before, um, but I, I just think it's great fun. So you've got what looks like a, a quarter fold card, which I've done before, a square one, but actually when you pull on the sides, it opens out like so, which I just thought was such great fun. Um, this one you can see I've made with actually the retired papers, um, which is going global. Um, so I'm going to do a different version using dapper denim and some up-to-date stamp sets. So when it's made, you'll see it literally just folds in like so. Um, but without further ado, um, all the measurements I've got are actually in centimetres. I will try when I get a few minutes to do uh, one that's in inches for those of you in, in America. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to work it out, so you have to excuse me. So, first thing to do then is a 20 centimetre by 20 centimetre piece of card. And at the 10 centimetre point, so that's actually the middle, you're going to score down on here 5 centimetres. Then you're going to move it across to the 10 centimetre. Sorry, you're going to you're going to move it across the 15 centimetre point and score down 10 centimetres. Okay. So down to there. Then you're going to rotate it and repeat that on all four sides. So at the 10 centimetre point, we're going to come down to five. And at the 15 centimetre point, we're going to come down to 10. Turn it and repeat. Okay, so 10 centimetres, we're coming down to 5. At 15 centimetres, down to 10. Rotate. So 10 centimetres. Coming down to five, and at 15 centimetres, you're coming down to ten. Okay, so you should end up with a piece of card that looks like that. And what you now need is a ruler and a scoring tool, and you're going to join these points up. So okay, you can see that, just joining those up. Again, turn it and join, and again, turn it and join. Okay, so what you now need to do is actually crease these, and you're going to crease them, or just with all of them, just gently crease them in the direction of where you've scored to start off with, just to, to get, get that nice crease going. Okay, so having done that, this one in the middle is a valley fold and then that's a mountain okay then a valley so the little short ones are valley and the taller ones are mountain valley and mountain and valley and mountain and then just gently ease up all of those four centre folds those are valley folds and then gently ease all four up and you will find that they will then fold in like so. And once you've done that, just go around and reinforce. And on the back, there you go. So that is your basic card. Now what we want to do is to decorate it. So for the centre panel, I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and that is um, for, uh, that is six and a half by six and a half centimetres. And I'm using the Playful Background stamp set here, which is a really useful set I've used before, and it's got some lovely sort of bubbles. And the paper I'm going to use is actually the envelope paper um, in the In Colours, which is a lighter weight paper designed for envelopes, but actually it's great on a card like this where you don't want too much bulk. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp some bubbles around the edge to tie in with the bubbles on the paper. So 
centre, that's going to be our centre panel, and I'm using the centre, the set here which is one of the hostess pun intended sets which is great fun um, and we're going to be using this image here which is the camera and a snappy birthday so literally in the corner here um, and I'm, I'm going to do it at an angle because when you open it up yeah you, you can have it at, um, at, at, a, at an angle I think would work well with where I'm going to put the camera so there's our snappy birthday I'm going to put a little love heart in there which also comes in that same stamp set like so. And then I'm going to stamp and decorate the panels on the inside. So this is going to be our centre panel, like so. And um, what I'm going to do is do um, some stamping um, on the inner panels of, of these and I'm going to do some DSP squares as well. So the DSP is actually going to go in the four corners. Um, that you'll find and these are four and a half by four and a half centimetres and I've taken some of the envelope paper and on the reverse of that it's got this pattern so all I'm, I've done is I've literally just stamped a couple of times to get the coverage on that and those four pieces are going to go into the corners so again because it's lightweight paper you just need your snail so we're just going to put those four pieces into the corners often you don't often you don't want um, heavyweight paper on cards like this that have got quite a few folds in because it can make it a little bit bulky um, And there's your fourth piece. Okay, so those are our, our four pieces. And then I'm just going to, on the panels next to each of those, I'm just going to do a little bit of, of stamping again with our bubbles. So I'm just going to come in on the side here and just stamp those bubbles. So you get the continuation of the pattern, but it just makes it slightly different because we've got. Um, just stamping with the dapper denim onto the dapper denim cardstock and then to do to decorate these panels here you need a strip of, of paper which is four and a half centimeters by nine and a half and you mark the midpoint which is about 4.7 on it so we bring in our cutting tool and what you're going to do is mark on this edge here just where about 4.2 is so if I show you so from there I'm going to actually make eight no 4.7 actually apologies so around about halfway 4.7 and then you're going to cut off this corner here okay so line up your little mark so it's 4.7 centimeters um, along line up and you're just going to cut the corner off like so. So cut four of those and you'll then end up with these panels here. So again, just, just some snail on those and those will then fit just like so. Oh, I should get a bit of glue on there. Center that up. And because this comes in the in colours, you end up with some um, DSP that you can really use with all of your in colours without a lot of expense. Okay, so there, there are your four panels. There's our centre panel. I happen to have my snail handy, I'd need to use something a little firmer. So that goes in the middle with our snappy birthday. And then using the um, using the, the, the stamp set, I'm actually going to show you the, the, 
really good thing to, to know is that when you're stamping using the photopolymer stamps, particularly when it's a detailed image, if you're not careful you get this sort of patchiness just here, I don't know if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is actually stamp on the stamping pierce mat and that just allows you to get a little bit more pressure on and when you, you'll see, hopefully, a lovely crisp image on that now. And so when, I would recommend when you're stamping a detailed image particularly, um, stamp it as, as I've done there on, onto, um, on, onto, some, on, onto your stamping pierce mat so that it gets a, a better finish. And then what I've done is I've then cut that out. Here's what I prepared earlier. For those of you that are in the UK, you know that Blue Peter moment. And it's going to go onto one of these panels here. And all I'm going to do is just use a couple of uh, dimensionals on the back there. Or bits of dimensionals, actually. So just use our, our snips to snip a couple of strips. This is where the outer strips are really useful when you're doing something that's like this, which is a sort of a um, rectangular shape. It just gives it a little bit of body. I'm just going to put a little bit on that top cap camera flash as well. So just take the backing off those. So there's our camera with our snappy birthday on it. And what I'm going to do is with the second one that I've just stamped, actually the early one, I'm going to uh, cut out the central camera on that um, using one of our punches. So if you just use the three quarter inch punch, that pops that out in a perfect circle. Just a little bit of, uh, of dimensional on the back there. And again, just little little bits like that just add that little bit of dimension to it um, and then all you all you do then is you just again ease that card into its position four corners and there you go there's a fun masculine card for you or for somebody who likes cameras I hope you've enjoyed watching come back for more soon bye bye now